All right, welcome to episode number 35. I'm Montel. Our co-host is John. Uh, we just got back from our uh, Christmas break, man. Um, or sorry, holiday break. How are you? How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, a little worn out because of the holidays, but I mean, that's, you know, every year, but yeah. um, ready to get this episode out to the people because, you know, I'm sure we, we know there's a few that uh, definitely like to listen to it. So yeah. <laughs> how about you? How is uh, your holidays? What's been going on with you? I've been pretty good. Um, just trying to get my uh, computer and stuff set back up. We talked about that in our pre-show a little bit. Um, just I need money to buy these things, and uh, I don't have it right now because of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yep. it is what it is. So we're we're making a good effort. So, um, yeah, we're we're good. Had had a good time with uh, my I guess my uh, it's not extended. What's the opposite of extended? Immediate family that came over for Christmas and stuff. So it was good. Um, don't have much planned for uh, New Year's Eve. It's just not really a holiday for me. You know, it's just like a day off work. I don't partake in anything we'll, we'll be playing games and see that it's after midnight and be like happy new year and move on <laughs> yeah yeah that, this has been like the last five or six years like oh yay it's like they're like savings time damn dude it's like two o'clock yeah we should probably <laughs> right <laughs> but, uh, yeah I'm, I'm good um what you got for the injury report all right so if uh you were relying on your like star quarterbacks to get you uh to the championship in fantasy mm. probably ain't gonna happen uh because uh jalen hurts is listed as doubtful yeah. Tua is out lamar jackson is out so like those are like three quarterbacks that are been on people's roster all year helping them win games um outside of that uh debo samuel has already been ruled out for the week i think ankle um Antonio Gibson has been ruled out. Um Colt McCoy is still um exhibiting concussion symptoms, so it doesn't look like he'll be playing. Um not really injury news, but uh I'm sure we'll talk about it in the news if you haven't seen it. But Derek Carr is out, but he's also like taking the last few weeks out of Las Vegas, so I'm not sure what all's going on there. But <clears throat> I mean, it sounds like the writing's kind of on the wall there for him. Uh, he's healthy, um, just not going to play, so I think they are pretty much probably done with him after this season. Yeah. Uh, um, but other than that, that's all I had for injury. Um, so we'll go ahead and have you cover some news here. I got a little bit. Um, so apparently the Bills versus Bengals, Bengals, sorry, is now the most anticipated game of the season, apparently. Uh, the tickets have an average cost of $281 when they started at 43 at the beginning of the season. So it looks like a lot of people are buying up tickets to go see that game. Uh, should be high scoring, should be fun. I might watch a little bit of it on TV. Yeah, damn, I should have bought some tickets to it at the beginning of the season. <laughs> And so, yeah, about like 10 of them, we've been set. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's nuts. Two, two yeah. good quarterbacks. Um, I think the Bengals have a few more weapons than the Bills do, but uh, Bills defense is nice. So Yeah, didn't the didn't Joe Burrow last week just basically go, fine, I'll do it myself, and like put the team on his back and ended up winning that game in the second half? I didn't watch it, but uh, I think I don't won. think they had any points scored in the first half, and then they ended up winning. I would not think they're they're just copying off the you know the Minnesota Vikings and the Colts. You know we had to <laughs> come back because we can't show up in the first half. But that's a story for another day, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. So next on my list, kind of a funny one. Uh, Sam Darnold got all his offensive linemen gas powered pizza ovens for Christmas. I mean, fat guys like pizza, you know. So, okay, okay. 
Yeah, they got money and they buy these terrible gifts. I don't get it. Uh, let's see. So the New Jersey government had to halt betting on the Citrus Bowl due to the, due to Drew Brees' relationship with points bet. Uh, Drew Brees is like a, I think he's like a temporary coach for Purdue, and they're playing in the Citrus Bowl on Monday. So can't right. bet on a game uh, when you're partnered with a betting service, dumb dumb. Not saying he's going uh full. Who's the guy from Atlanta with with the bed? Calvin Ridley. Yeah, not going full <laughs> Calvin Ridley. <laughs> yeah, he's got a relationship, and they're like, nah, don't think so. Let's see. Uh, current and former teammates for Russell Wilson are kind of starting to defend him. Uh, there was a quote in here from Melvin Gordon, but I just kind of excluded it because it wasn't really much substance, but. A couple of current teammates, Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler. Uh, Judy says, I ain't going to keep looking at these fake statements about my boy Russ, man. As a teammate who sees the elite work ethic, this man is, in, in, he spelled it wrong, incomparable. He got an office because he's committed to his life, to this game. I never had a teammate who motivated me more than Russ. Yeah, probably should have went to school a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, KJ Hamler, uh, y'all ready? Sorry, y'all really trying to bring this man down. Russ is the most dedicated and hardworking teammate I have had, and y'all want to bring up this to put him under. Man, stop it. Threesky's a legend in my eyes. I understand this season isn't the way we wanted it, uh, nor anybody wanted it. Well, it's been quite the uh, nightmare. Um, Nathaniel Hackett got fired. Um, I saw that like the day after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I was on record saying that he'd be a good coach and I for the Vikings at some point because he was an offensive mind. No regrets. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we even made fun of him like the first couple of weeks of the podcast because his first game he couldn't call the game like he uh yeah you have arguably like a top i'd say probably seven defense you've got some good young weapons and to just show up and shit the bed like that all year kind of disappointing um i personally feel like uh pete carroll might might have known a little bit more about rust than he let on when that trade happened because there's no way you go from Hall of Famer to borderline like XFL player in a uh, span of a season. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I agree. It was just terrible this year. Maybe next year, I don't know, but I know some idiot out there probably drafted them in like the first round of a fantasy draft. <laughs> and I'll let them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I won't I won't say anything. Uh, so our man Mike Brable, we we like Mike Brable. Uh, he now has his first losing season under his belt. Uh, the best he can finish this year is eight and nine. Um, he's just had a a lot of injuries this season. They couldn't come back from it. So um, I don't think he's in, in like a, in a hot seat or anything like that. Um, what, no, I mean, not after like thirteen one and three and twelve and four. Yeah, not after one bad season. No, no, and you go eight and nine with. Like a JV roster, that's pretty impressive. So we'll give him another year before the jury's out on him. Yep. Uh, let's see, former former Packers safety, ha, Clinton Dix, uh, he signed a one-year contract, and he's going to retire a Packer. You got any thoughts on him? He was okay. when, when um, Rookie season born. was a beast, and then went downhill after that. Yeah, like he was he was okay. Yeah. Um, Solid like six out of ten, seven out of ten. No, if you learn how to like coverage and you know actually look, knew how to tackle, he'd be he would have been a lot better. But yeah. not just like I, I know he had a problem where he liked to like grab at ankles instead of actually forming up to hit people. So um and that's if he did wrap up. He'd like to just come in and just try to lay people out and he found out real quick. He can't do that in the NFL. No. Uh, sounds <laughs> like, uh, what do they call Andrew Sandejo? 
the human missile because he didn't care if you're on his team or not. He's going to hit anything that appeared to have the ball. So uh, he probably concussed a teammate or two. Right. I see. Moving on to uh, how have the fantasy playoffs treated you? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hmm. Um. Let's see here. Um. Best I can do is like sixth in the money league because Tony Pollard and Derrick Henry were both out last night. I have Lamar Jackson and Tua. So I have no quarterback going this week. Mm. So, and then in the just for fun league, you know, uh, worst record in the, in the league. Still don't know how. So, um, looking forward to next year. <laughs> yeah. Um, how about you? How's it been going for you? Uh, um, I lost. In the championship round of the Just for Fun League, uh, whilst in the let's see, what is it? Is it semifinals before the final? Whatever, I lost the round before the finals in the money league, uh, to our newcomer, but he's not a newcomer, he's been doing fantasy for like 20 years. So, um, I think the worst, the best I can finish is third, the worst I can finish is fourth in that one. Um, and in this new league with my completely random roster, I did not have any input on. Uh, I somehow have made it to the championship round, so um, I probably need to adjust my lineup for that league. I haven't looked this <laughs> Hey, I mean, at least you have a chance to win one of them, yeah. One of three, you know. I wanted to get like a I was hoping I won the money once so I could buy like a belt and bring it to the draft next year. <laughs> like <a championship>. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bring it to the draft next year, but uh wasn't meant to be. So, you know, I ain't going to be mad. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, consistent somewhere between like second and fifth isn't bad. So, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. It's always next year. Um I was probably a little bit more upset last week, so I've had time to kind of do. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, rough, rough going for us last week. Sorry, but you know it is what it is. You see, I'm just kind of lay yeah. back, relax, <laughs> not worry about it. Exactly. Uh, it'll be, it'll be all right. Let's see. So we're that. Uh, we're switching it to the uh, dynasty format, I think, for the money league next year. So. That'll be fun to, I guess, research a little bit about. I mean, if we we keep everybody, I think that's been the biggest holdup is where you've been having to replace people in it it's every hot. year. Yeah. I mean, the core is good. Um, it's just those last two. Yeah. It's always kind of shaky. So I, either way, I think it'll be fun. I think there's supposed to be actually two drafts next year after the – uh. NFL draft, you got to draft your rookies. And then after that, uh, you have your actual dynasty starting draft. So uh, we'll that, see. that'll be fun. I'm, I've never done it. I mean, we've, I think this oh. is year eight for me and year seven for you. So that, yeah. that be, well, I think it'll be fine. We're not going to, we're not quitters. No, no. We'll come back next year. Yeah, hopefully stronger. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, uh, that's really all I got. Um, like I said, my setup's not completely done. It's uh, long story short, missing a laptop and a, and a uh, sorry, not a laptop, <laughs> a keyboard <laughs> and a mouse. And uh, I just ordered that today. So. Um, I keep saying it. Maybe next week we'll see. But uh, <laughs> it's saying the sixth or the seventh is when stuff will start getting here. So okay, until the next one. So, right. <laughs> like uh, you know, it is what it is. So you got anything else you want to cover? Um, I don't. I don't. No trivia on my end. So mm -mm. I could I couldn't find one that was not man. Everything that I saw was 
it was, one of them was um, since the merger, what who was the no, what season had the most quarterbacks ever? And how many was it? And I was like, I don't fucking know. And apparently it's yeah, this I don't know. apparently there's been 64 starting quarterbacks this year. Um was I yeah, so it was stuff like that. So I didn't bother even bother. Gotcha. But yeah. Gotcha. But that's all you got, man. I'm, I'm Montel. I appreciate yeah. you guys tuning in. Yeah, until next week, everybody. Take care. All right, y'all. Peace.